Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a cheat code here on Redbubble, not only to make more money, but spend less time working. Yes, you heard it right, more money with less work. Now you guys know I'm a big fan of working hard and motivation and success, but I, you know, if there's a chance that we could work less, why don't we take that chance? Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So you guys know that a big portion of products that sell uh, on Redbubble are puzzles. Puzzles is a big portion. And you could actually charge a lot of money for puzzles because there's a huge open sea of, uh, of, of puzzle you know, marketplaces and things that you could sell on puzzles. Um, and I've seen puzzles as high as and expensive as $100 a puzzle. Now, that might seem like a lot, but believe it or not, you can actually charge for puzzles a very high amount. Now, the cool thing about puzzles are is that you don't actually have to do the art. Let me explain. There are these different image bank websites where you can take the image and place it on the puzzle. Now, there's a few uh, there's a few caveats to this, and I want to go ahead and share with you guys what I'm talking about. And I actually have a whole entire process behind how this is done. The right software without breaking any kind of rules um, and staying basically uh, in good terms with Redbubble. So you're going to want to stick to the whole entire video to see what I'm talking about here. So the cool thing about puzzles is that if you're going to try to go for puzzles and that be the main product, that you try to sell on Redbubble, that can double as posters, duvet covers, uh, and a lot of other products, even those all over print style t-shirts. Um, so you could do a lot with puzzles. The cool thing here is that a puzzle specifically, and, and a lot of the times people go to free websites like Pexels, for example, to get these images. Let's go ahead and head over to Pexels, right? And we can take a look and, and search for anything. We could search for, example, dog, and we can take an image from Pexels and utilize this in our puzzle. The only problem with this is that a lot, a lot of people that utilize these free image banks end up getting um, banned, removed off the Redbubble platform, and reported. And they get their work taken down. Um, and they're lucky if their work gets ends up getting taken down versus getting banned from the platform entirely. Uh, Redbubble specifically says that you cannot use any stock footage. And stock footage... Pexels does count as stock footage. All the other free websites do count as well as stock footage. Now, there's actually a license that breaks this kind of concept. Um, there's, there's these other websites where you can get images in, you know, the millions of images with either a subscription cost or a very low price uh, cost. Um, like a one-time payment cost that you can utilize. Now, the almost every single one I've seen has a subscription cost fee, except for one of them. There's a website here called Unlim Photos, okay? This is by far the best one I have seen um, in terms of graphics, in terms of selection. They have over 12 million photos, and they have a, a subscription cost. But here's the thing. I don't actually pay the subscription cost. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. So here on the subscription cost, you can pay uh, $11.99 a month and you get 30 downloads a day. Okay. And so if you guys know anything about Redbubble, you have to do, I mean, you have a maximum of 60 designs per day. So if you want to do 40, 50, you're not going to be able to use any of these plans here. If you pay yearly, you're going to be paying $8.25 or $11.99 a month. But there's actually a better solution. And the solution is paying $59 as a one-time payment and getting access to this forever, for a lifetime. And there's... um. I'll have that link in the description box down below, and I'm not sure how long they're going to keep this offer up, uh, but it is, like I said, if you feel like you want to do that, I'll have that link in the description box down below, and that's the current plan that I'm rocking with, which is the uh, the, the one-time payment plan. I paid once, I paid $59, and I get access to the whole entire platform, essentially for free. I just pay once. Now, the cool thing is, is this allowed? And the answer is yes, and I'll explain why. So if we go and scroll down here, and we just click on frequently asked questions, let's go ahead and click on this, is that it says here, what can I use these images for? Guess what? The second thing listed here is print on demand for mugs, t-shirts, clothing, journal covers, books, ebooks, etc. Well, that includes everything on Redbubble because Redbubble is print on demand. And 
you will have a license for every single piece that you download. So any image that you download, you'll have a license. So just in case if somebody does report the, the, the image off of Redbubble, then you have the license to dispute the report. Okay, and you'll get to keep your the safety of your account and the safety of your images. So really what you're paying for here is you're paying for two things. First thing is you're paying for safety, and second thing you're paying for is quality. Now, here's the thing. When people do use Pexels in these other free websites, not just Pexels, but there's other websites as well where you can access essentially free content, it's not a bad thing, but the problem is, is first of all, it's not as loud. It goes under the radar, a lot of people don't notice it, but out of the people who do notice it and post consistently, they're the ones who are going to end up reporting your account. And you guys can go back into the older videos and look at some of the comments. There's a ton of people complaining that they used free websites like this and they got banned. When I say banned, I mean they got their account deleted off of Redbubble. They're not allowed to sell anymore. So... Like I said, something you want to do is you want to utilize this. And this is exactly like you yourself going out there and shooting these photos yourself. The only difference is, is you don't have to shoot these photos. These photos are taken for you. Now, I searched here for an example of Wolf. And I, you could see here the high-quality images that are being shown. And you could even see landscapes. Like, I could go over here and search for something like a river. And I could have these landscapes. And these go great for puzzles amazing for puzzles now something that I would do is I wouldn't necessarily post a picture like this like of a person's face I would go for images that are kind of like neutral right so landscapes animals um, cars anything that can get people's attention that looks really good and like I said there's millions of them right we can type in let's say mountains here and we have things like the Aurora here. We have this. Like, guys, this would be amazing on a puzzle, right? And so I actually have uh, on my other account, because this is, this is not my account. I'm not logged in. On my other account, I do have this image here of this wolf that I downloaded. Uh, because, like I said, I am a member of this website. And I want to show you guys how this works. So what I do is after I download the image, I just right-click and I click Open With. This is actually really important. And what I do is I go over here to Paint. And I make sure that I scale my image. Now, I already, I already did this. But I scale my image so I can make it a little bit larger. Because I want it to fit majority of my products. So I'm going to go over here to Redbubble. And I'm going to upload my work. Right, and this is work that I already essentially did. Right, it's almost as if I went out there and I uh, photoed or took photos of this wolf myself. But the only difference is, is that essentially I quote unquote paid somebody else to do it for me, and I get to utilize this in my red my Redbubble store. Even something like this. Now, is this cheating? The answer is absolutely not. Like I said, this website was created for purposes like this. So I can use this for my own usage. Okay? And look at that, by the way, the, the those beautiful mountains. Amazing for a puzzle, right? And if you do the right SEO behind this and you have, like, let's say, a blog where you're promoting your products and stuff, you can make an absolute killing with this. And I'm just getting so much ideas just sitting here. So look at this. I uploaded the image. And you could see here it's already on the phone cases, right? It's ready. And you could see here really high definition, real clear, really, really good quality. I have it on mouse pads, right? I can I can change the way these things look. Duvet cover, I could go ahead and change it on the duvet cover. I could change this on any single product I want, right? I can add this to my bath mat here. I can actually go over here and head over to my puzzles and do this with the puzzle as well. Let's go ahead and figure out where the puzzle location is. I believe it was here somewhere. Just Let's go ahead and type in puzzle. There it is, jigsaw puzzle. What I could do is just make sure it fits perfectly. Now, this is not just for puzzles, like I said, guys. It is this strategy here. You could do this with every single product that you're selling. You could do this with phone cases. You could do this with mouse pads, desk mats. And like I said, the reason why we're going specifically with this website as opposed to the other websites is number one, price. Right, you're never, you know, if you go straight to this website, the website is guys on limbphotos.com. If you go straight to their website, you're not going to be able to get the pricing that I'm showing you. It's just exclusive only for this channel. So if you click the link in the description, it will take you straight to that offer. 
okay, which is a $59 offer that you pay once in a lifetime and you get access to all these photos and they're always being updated, right? So I said, you know, 12 million plus photos, right? And so we could see pictures of, for example, summer here, um, you know, all these different kind of cool images you could use also for multiple purposes. I mean, not just, um, you know, Redbubble, but if you're, let's say like a YouTuber, you could use images like this for a thumbnail. You could do a lot of things with this, right? But some things that I like to search for are just like different animals, right? Like I could search for a picture of a goat here. Uh, I actually want to search for a picture of a ram. That's one of my favorite animals, the ram. And yeah, this might this this would actually look pretty cool on a t-shirt, right? So I can like edit this design or I could use this as a um <clears throat> as a as a uh, or this here uh, even as a puzzle. This would be great as a puzzle cuz it's so high definition, so intuitive. Um pretty cool or even this, something like that. So all these different things here, not so much here, but uh like different animals. I could type in fish here. Let's see what comes up for fish. And we could see here this this is this is a really good one for a puzzle. Um, let's look for another one for a puzzle here. Let's type in <clears throat> let's type in painting. I want to see what painting would come up, right? Let's type in painting. Uh, we got all these different abstract colors. You can use these as backgrounds if you're doing something, right? Let's type in. Let's we got some art right here. We got photos of people doing painting, right? Uh, we could do a lot of things, by the way. We can filter by people or orientation. We can do. We can filter by horizontal orientation, something like this, right? We can. Uh, let's type in. Let's type in mountains. I think I already typed in mountains, actually, right? But you guys can see here, huge, huge selection of images, right? And this is this is really, really cool to me. Um, and one of my favorite images is right here. Honestly, I just saw this. This is actually a really good image, too. And like I said, you have thousands of images here. Millions, excuse me, millions of images, right? Let me type in car. I want to see what comes up when I type in car. Let's see. Let me type in, not car, let me type in mansion. Let's see what comes up when I type in mansion. So we got pictures of mansions here. Like, this one is really cool. I like this one. Um, I like this one, too. This is very cool in Athens. Right, that could be an awesome puzzle. Right, uh, even art like this, like this creative kind of cartoonish art, this could be great for a puzzle during Halloween. Right, so cool things like this, even this. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that image, guys, right here in the middle. That's that's a beautiful image. But um, we can utilize these images, like I said, for our Red Bubble shops, and uh, this is completely allowed to do. Like I said, because unlimited photos, they, they literally tell you here in their frequently asked questions, you're allowed to use this for print on demand. What you can't do this, what you can't use this for is you can't resell the actual images, which is perfectly fine, but this is really, really cool. I love this. This is something that I've been using, as you guys could tell. That's why I got the uh, wolf image here. And um, this is something that is going to literally just make the process easier for me. Um, and... Obviously, guys, I am sticking to my 60 designs per day uh, using the POD design method, right? But this is just something that's a little icing on the cake, right? It's just something that I'm featuring here on this YouTube channel that I think is pretty cool. If you guys want me to make more videos on this whole idea and how to do it properly and just add more content around this concept, I would love to do so. So you guys let me know. And like I said, I typed in mansion here, so I don't know what these images are, but um, there's a lot of use cases for a software like this. And you guys could actually go to the website on limphotos.com, and you could go on there and just check out what kind of images they have if you, if you decide that you want to go with this software. Uh, but like I said, the pricing here, the monthly pricing, this is extremely overpriced compared to the deal that I'm going to get you guys through the channel. So it will be in the link in the description if you guys want to join for the $59 deal. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, bye. If you have any questions, by the way, leave them in the comments down below. All right, peace out, bye.